Hey, kiddo. I need to ask you a few questions, okay? Can you tell me what happened tonight? I... I went to show her my haircut. She had a gun. She... Take your time. She freaked out. I... I... It's okay. No, it's not. It's not okay. My mom tried to kill me, so... So I stabbed her. I killed my mother. Okay, first, I'm gonna find the keys to the old house. Then, I'm gonna drive to Fireweed, and I'm not going to freak out. Everything's fine. desk drawer, maybe? It's gonna be so crazy to see him after all these years. Michael and Tyler are so gonna hit it off. Is he gonna like this? Or is it too much?
I should probably check my email one more time before I go. No, I've already done that three times this morning. I should probably check my email one more time before I go. No, I've already done that three times this morning. All set, I think. Still need to find those damn house keys. I should probably get rid of this. I mean, I can stream it anytime I want, but it makes me happy just to look at the box. I need to bring this with me to Juno. Not here. I have got to make solid plans to see the Geminids. I wonder if Tyler'd want to go. Hey, you want to freeze your ass off watching burning rocks fall through the sky? Yeah, I might need to work on my sales pitch. Right, I stashed them down here. <laughs> so that's where you've been hiding. This feels like another lifetime. Great. I think I'm ready to go now. Why do I still have this? Every time I look at it, it reminds me of how very single I am. I wonder if Tyler will even recognize me. Last picture I sent was from the bleaching my hair at home phase. Oh, ooh, I can't wait to force Tyler to watch this with me. He's totally gonna hate it. One more season. What am I even gonna do with myself when it's over? Get invested in the lives of real people? Probably not going to see any stars at this time of day. Not the prettiest of my creations, but she weirdly kind of looks like me in the morning. I could look at this artwork all day. Pfft. I haven't practiced since high school. I'm probably super rusty. One day I'm going to fill more of this in. Maybe when the house is sold, I'll book some tickets.
so awkward. I can't believe I'm about to leave this room for the last time. Okay, I'm pretty much done here. I just need to grab my goblin and I'm off. I have to leave this behind, but the old house would probably collapse if I blasted this inside. Been listening to this in a loop lately. Man, the soundtrack to my angsty teen years. I'll leave it for the next rebel. They're gonna need it more than I do. I wish I could have finished this before I left, but God, it was a slog. I wish I could have finished this before I left, but God, it was a slog. I wish I could have finished this before I left, but God, it was a slog. Denali. I need to get my application ready for next summer. You stay here. Educate the youngsters in classic cinema. Denali. I need to get my application ready for next summer. By Herbert. By Herbert. Man, I'm going to miss that view. Hey, little guy. You're gonna be reunited with your sister soon. Uh, cool.
cool. I guess I'm totally ready to go now. Oh, gonna miss these dum dums. Hi, Tyler. Hi. First time we see each other in 10 years, and it's hi, Tyler. Oh, sorry, I... It's fine, Allison. Hi is a good place to start. God, it's good to see you. <sighs> Likewise. You have anything else you need to get? Nope, this is it. 
My last ten years in a bag. Then we should get going. We just have time to make the morning ferry. You look good in that. Thanks. One of my mentees designed it. It's really good. Yeah, he's so incredibly talented. I got a couple of local coffee shops to hang his art. Tyler Ronan, shaping the leaders of tomorrow. Yep, we're screwed. <laughs> so, are you gonna miss anything about this place? Hmm, the sweet taste of overcooked halibut. But seriously, yeah, it was home. For a while, you know? Oh, yeah, that, that makes sense. I'm also really happy to never eat that halibut again. We planning to drive to Delos Crossing or push? You are welcome to walk. Nah, I'll take my chances. Need one last look or anything? Looked. Let's go. No, really. I am 100% not creative enough to make that stuff up. Oh, and just last week, they had to turn the ferry around because a bear was on board. No way. Someone heard a commotion in the back of a delivery truck, so they opened it up. And there was the bear, fat and happy on a literal mountain of empty chip bags. <laughs> you go where the food is. Oh, I can relate to that. So then what happened? I'm not sure. I think they couldn't get him to leave, so they tranked him. Oh, poor buddy. Shot in the ass just for getting the munchies. Yeah, well, you know what they say. Safety first in bear country. Yeah, but prevention is best. Common sense goes a long way in keeping them from getting shot. The bear is fine, Tyler. For now. You hear they've been talking about loosening up regulations on trophy hunting again? Higher bag limits, inhumane ground traps, even bringing back hibernation hunting. What kind of asshole gets off on killing a sleeping animal? I'm not against hunting, but predators play a vital role in the health of our natural parks. What? Why are you smiling? I'm being serious. Oh, I can tell, Ranger Tyler. Not yet, but at least I got the school part out of the way. I can't believe you've got a bachelor's already. While I boast a half-completed certificate in accounting from an online college that may have stolen my credit card number. You'll figure out what you want. You have time. How are you feeling? Like I'm about to drive straight into a whiteout and my fog lights are dead. What about you? Allison? Well, zoned out there for a second. Sorry. What's up? I'm sorry. I'm just trying to wrap my head around the fact that you're right here, standing beside me, on our way to Delos. You don't have to apologize. It's a lot. Why did we take the ferry instead of the coast road? Because I didn't want to be stuck in the car with you for an extra two hours. Ha ha. <laughs> we have to take the ferry. It's the only way to reach Delos from Fireweed. I see. Well, good. I don't think my stomach could have taken two more hours of how you handle curves. I'm sorry. Do you want to take over driving when we dock? <laughs> no. You're going to have to get back behind that wheel at some point, you know. Look, I put a Fireweed van nose first in a ditch. Hey, at least you missed the porcupine. I'm guessing things haven't changed much. You mean in Delos? Still the capital of East Jesus nowhere. Can't wait to get out of here.
guess that normal life you wanted didn't live up to your expectations, huh? I mean, having cable and full-time electricity was definitely a plus, but no one ever forgets anything in a small town. You get marked a weirdo, and that's it. That's your life. At least you had Michael. Yeah. I don't think I'd have survived high school without him. Bet you're gonna miss him when you move to Juno. How's he doing? Good. Good, good. Uh, but I haven't seen him much outside of work lately. He's been busy with his dance and helping his clan organize a potlatch. Is that smoke coming out of Stonehouse? That one over there? No, the one just beyond it. You know, the one the elders say is haunted to spook little kids. Oh, right. Oh, a whole group of us were drinking at a bonfire down at the point and got dared to go inside. We didn't make it past the garden. <laughs> Sounds fun. Uh, it was. So, we're really going back there, huh? To Stonehouse? I meant we're going home. Yeah. Yeah, we are. Think the house will sell? No interested buyers yet. Turns out, people don't line up to buy murder houses with no electricity. <laughs> At least it's got one hell of a view, unlike Juno. Hey, Juno has mountain views aplenty. It just also has people and fun. Are you still thinking you might be my roomie? I'm thinking about it. Hey, can I ask you a question? Shoot. I was told... Um, I mean, after you... Well, graduated, I guess, and became a mentor three years ago. You still basically spent all your time at Fireweed, right? Pretty much. There were a few times I tried to go to these meetups for trans people in Juno, but something always came up. I probably should have put myself out there more, but it was better to be around in case the residents needed me. So you were free to come and go as you pleased? Yeah. Uh, why do you ask? Oh, nothing. Just... Being an overly invested sister. Curious how you spent your time. Allison? Yeah? Spit it out. Okay, you need to promise not to freak out. What is it? It's a gift from Eddie. I know he's not your favorite person, but... I'm sorry. When you said Eddie, I thought you meant Chief Brown, as in the police officer who arrested me. Come on, Ty, don't... And your adopted father, the man who didn't let you visit me for seven years. The Fireweed Administration backed him up, Tyler. They thought it was best for both of us. Yeah, well, it wasn't. It's a peace offering. And you're the two most important people in my life. Please, for me. He can't buy my forgiveness with some cheap-ass trinket. It's a gift, Tyler. You know what gift-giving means in Clinket culture, and what it means to refuse one. I'll take it, but I'm not going to wear it. Really? Really. Just so we're clear, this was for you, not Chief Brown. You know, you could call him Eddie, or even Uncle. <laughs> Hard pass. Did you hear that? Whoa! There's no place like home. Yeah. 
Would it ruin the moment if I said I needed to call home? Uh, yes. Completely. Sorry. Go ahead and stop apologizing all the time. Okay, sorry. <sighs> Thanks. It's so weird being back on this boat. Charming. What a waste of a good one. Hmm. Hmm. Impressive, ain't you? You planning to land a moose with that? Good eye. On a draw on a bull tag up this way. You got your license and tag on you? <laughs> Why, yes, officer. Everything's in order. You hunt? I fish, mostly. No shame in that. Anyway, you'll find there's lots of good fishing spots around here. If you know what to look for. Where are you headed? Uh, Delos Crossing? Same here. You from around here? Born and bred. Ah, you don't say. I moved to Anchorage around your age. Delos was mostly Alaskan natives then. Clean kid, hide up. I haven't been home in five years. Oh, so you owed your family a visit? I'll say. You may not know it yet, but your folks, they get old real fast. Right. I'm Alex, by the way. Alex Gershwin. No relation. Huh? To George Gershwin. Um... Gershwin. The pianist. Folks are always asking for related, so I try to head it off at the pass. Oh. Uh, what'd you say your name was? I didn't. I'm Tyler. Tyler Ronan. I, uh, uh... Ronan, huh? Ronan, as in the Ronans? Uh-huh. So, uh, you're... Knew those girls had a brother. We didn't. Uh, I, uh... Nice talk. Yeah. Enjoy your time in town, Tyler. I'll see you around town. Yikes. Hey, I heard that.
One day soon, I hope. Let's go. Back to the car, Ronan. It's basically exactly like I remember it. Only faded. Like a Polaroid left on a windowsill. From the outside, it almost looks charming. Charm's not the problem. Structural integrity may be an issue. You think there's a chance whoever buys it will just tear it down? If someone buys it, they can do whatever they want with it. You wouldn't care at all? Would you? Sure. Everywhere I look, I see a piece of one of our adventures. Everywhere I look, I just see her. Allison, we could go grab a bite. Start this tomorrow? No. The only way to get this done is to do it. After you. Marianne always spoiled the birds. 
She liked animals way more than people. I can relate to that. Hey, you remember that? Come on, Tyler. It's freezing out here. You're right. Sorry. Let's head inside. Doesn't seem like the greenest source of energy. Not like she had the money for solar panels. At least we don't have any use for this right now. Luckily. Remember the snowstorm in 2004? Marianne had us digging for hours. Of course. She was too proud to call another adult for help. Yep. Why do that when you've got free child labor? I bet we left all kinds of cool things in there. I bet we left all kinds of cool things in there. Remember how mad she'd get if we didn't use the compost? And she always knew when we were lying. Waste not, or kiss the planet goodbye. What'd you find? Our hidden treasure. Seriously? How do we think to stash it there? Goblin secrets are always well kept. What'd you find? Our hidden treasure. Seriously? How do we think to stash it there? Goblin secrets are always welcome. I can't believe these are still here. Yeah, we should hide them so they don't frighten away potential buyers. At least the shed's still standing. Yep. I don't want to think about what might be living inside it, though. Well, better alive than dead. Ugh, yes. Let's deal with that later. Plenty else to do first. What was she doing out here that night? Come on, man. Stop thinking about that. Homemade cleaning products may be better for the planet, but they do not have the same shelf life. Oh, add it to the shopping list. Well, at least the tools are still here. That'll help with the repairs. They're good quality, too. Marianne wanted stuff like that to last. She did not like us using her tools. She was probably just afraid we'd hurt ourselves. Or she thought we'd go on a rampage and tear up her precious plants. And we would have, so... Hey, it's locked, all right. Looks like a neighbor came by. Funny. Can't remember any signs of them when we were kids. Probably because our mother scared the shit out of them. Yeah. She scared everybody else off, too. You need a break already, Ronan? No, just sitting. Enjoying the view. Seriously, how are you feeling? Tired. I didn't sleep much last night. Yeah. I can't believe how we used to run around for hours without stopping. Yeah. Always a troll to run away from. Or a treasure to find. We definitely never lacked imagination. Marianne didn't either. It was the one thing that brought us all together. Even in the end. She told a new story, didn't she? That night? It was... Weird. She built this bench, right? If you're trying to scare me off so you can steal my seat, it won't work. No, I just remember us all sitting here after. I fell asleep and woke up really stiff later. I don't remember us sitting anywhere for more than a few seconds, which sounds exhausting now. Guess we're just old. 
At least we've got a few more years before we're... As old as her. 